Boo, 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 boo. Test one, two, 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 two. What's up, everybody out there in YouTube land? What's up, Psycho Keys, the cab driver? Beep, beep. What's you up to, my brother? I ain't seen you in a while, man. Good to see you. Good to see you. Hell yeah, man. You're a little heavy, man. Lazy as hell. Trying to get some sleep, some shut eye, that gone it. I finally got me some sleep last night. Sure enough. Hell yeah. That crap with me, man, ain't giving me that damn insomnia. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. It's going to be a fun, interesting show tonight. Shoot, I wish I could get maybe somebody, one person, maybe a join live with me, you know? Just join in. Somebody that's got some VSO flavorings, you know? Hell yeah. Let me get over here. Pull this up. Led Zeppelin, Moby Dick Fool. <laughs> I didn't put my Led Zeppelin shirt on. I had to put my Auburn shirt on. Hell yeah. Let me go over here to my camera, make sure everything. Is doing okay. Wayne Walker is still alive right now, so I just went ahead. I mean, he's going a little over. Oh well, it happens, man. It happens. You know, <laughs> only got four minutes left. <laughs> oh yeah, man. Drum roll. Man, I should have brought, broke out my guitar, man. I'm going to make me a new opening. I'm serious. I'm going to make a new opening video with me playing guitar and jamming out. And maybe some, some cool-ass video or something. No, you know what I'm saying? It's been a while since I had one at the beginning of my show. It seems like everybody's got one again. What's up, Tim Petty in the house? How you doing this evening, my brother? Hell yeah. Welcome, welcome. Hell yeah. Uh, the vaping lizard, what's up, man? How you doing? Hey, man. Uh, if you want to, man, you're more than welcome to join in the show and come on. I can send you the link if you want me to. I need somebody to help me share screen and talk about some VSO flavorings, you know, and just chit chat, chill out, and get goofy. <laughs> I think we needed a big drum roll for this one, hippie. I heard that, man. Man, look at all these VSO flavors I got behind me, man. And all kind of stuff back here from VSO, man. Hell to the yeah, man. Three core alien. Oh, yeah. I got my decor already made down here and everything. Show now, show now. Hell yeah. Show up, man. Uh, hell, if y'all haven't seen uh, this recipe, Hippie's Best Blueberry Cheesecake Ever, man, I tell you what, this will become your all-day vape for real. It uses that VSO Blueberry. Little angel in the house. What's up, little angel? How you doing this evening? Hell yeah. All right, man. All right, all right. But yeah, man. Hippie's best blueberry cheesecake ever, man. If y'all haven't mixed that one up, man, yeah. And I'll share this, the recipe of this one a little later. Uh, I sent a vaping trucker to see if he could come on. I haven't heard from him. He must be working or something. Uh, so, just chilling man chilling all by my lonesome i can't see your screen because i'm running everything else uh and I'm still going through this crap man went to the doctors uh he's dumbfounded he doesn't know what's going on uh i kept telling i keep telling him man i think it's the dead gone flu shot now i'm allergic to the flu shot still nah you ain't allergic to the flu shot Went to another doctor, got a second opinion, and he said it could be my blood flow and everything. Circulation is not flowing correctly. So, uh, 
he's sending me to get a ultrasound which I've already had one ultrasound but it was just to check my thyroids this one's supposed to check if there's any blockage in my neck in my arteries and stuff okay Aaron all right cool I'll send you the link hold on let me get over here to Facebook and I'll send you the link let's see here right click paste there you go Aaron hell yeah we're gonna have the lizard man coming on man hell yeah show no show no oh yeah it's on man we're gonna have some goofy fun now get back over here show no so and that uh is the 12th i get that test done on the 12th so and hopefully you know now it is known in my family and it's hereditary all the men in my family have had heart attacks and they started in their 50s and on up and it's in my family heart attacks and i'm 53 years old so i'm glad i'm getting that test done anyway just to check and make sure you know but i swear man i still say it's that damn flu shot i'm not kidding because and you watch i guarantee you just watch now all right now, I got the shot November 10th. February or March, it usually goes away and everything's just like a light switch. Everything just, boom, I'm back to normal, you know? So we'll see. You watch. <laughs> I'll let y'all know how I'm doing everything, of course, you know? But hell, let's get off that, man. I'll be all right. Trust me. It's going to be fine, man. I'm hoping. <laughs> hell, everything's going to be just fine. I'm on a vape team diet plan. <laughs> vape team diet. I heard that, man. Hell yeah. BSO flavors, man. Who out there has heard of BSO? Y'all heard of BSO flavors, ain't y'all? I mean, hell. Swaggy Shane, man. Shoot. Vaping swag. Hell yeah, man. Show enough, man. Let's see here. I got a message, man. I got a message somewhere. What was that all about, man? Let's see here. Hmm. Hmm. Somebody sent me friend request. Hell yeah. I always accept friend request. You know, just uh, be nice. You know, <laughs> that's all. Just be nice, everybody. All right, I haven't used them. Uh, well, if you haven't used them and you don't know nothing about VSO flavorings, if you use this right here, I'm just going to type it in the chat. Hippie. What's up, Al Bean in the house? What's up, man? Yeah. For 17. Oh. There you go. Just use Hippie. Hippie. And that's the name of my cat. If y'all didn't know, <laughs> that's where Hippie Vapes came all about, man. When I first started, the name of my cat is Hippie. H I P P Y. That's why it's spelled that way. It's not H I P P I E. You know, everybody, you know, of course I'm a hippie. I mean, but. That's where hippie vapes came from, my cat, man. But yeah, man, if you put in uh, on the coupon code at BSO Flavorings, uh, you get 17% off. Let's see here. There he is. Howdy, y'all. Hell yeah, man. What's up, Aaron? How you doing this evening, man? I'm pretty good. Oh, no. Let me make sure the mic and everything's just fine. Yeah, everything's coming out good. Let's see here. Let's see if I can get this a little bit bigger. Oh, oh, got your cat in here too. All right. Let's see here. Let me get the thing just right for everybody. So everybody can see. How's that looking on your end, the camera and everything? Is that looking all right, Aaron? Yeah. All right. Let me 
just a little bit. All right, that'll work. That'll work just fine. Oh, what's going on over here? All right, let's make sure everything's just fine now. Yeah. All right. Okay, uh, Aaron, uh, how you doing this evening? You doing just perfect? Yeah, yeah. All right, there's the sound. Test, test, one, two. All right, we in business now. Hell yeah, man. Oh, yeah, it's great. Uh, you're doing a show on VSO. Shane made my hat, or actually, his son did. Oh, now that's cool as hell. Yeah, oh, yeah. down the rabbit hole. Oh no, man. Yeah, I gotta get me one too. Uh hippie baits hat or either one that says life is juicy. Nice. Yeah, that'd be a good one. Hell yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, um, I've gotten some flavors uh and just so happened last night I mixed with VSO the first time. Oh, cool. Okay. Um, yeah, we were talking at work. I, I like to get ideas from people that don't vape i got a buddy he likes just tasting it you know like doing the back of the hand well it's candy you know oh, and yeah. i was like give me give me a profile he's like well what kind of fruits do you like and you know, well pretty much everything and he's like melons yeah yeah how about cantaloupe so i was like okay cantaloupe it's like how about apple and kiwi I used to vape this stuff called Space Jam. That, that was like commercial juice or whatever. I remember and that one. Yeah, that was the profile. It didn't say it, but it had pictures. It had a cantaloupe and a kiwi and an apple. And uh, yeah, I used VSO apple. And um, in reading like the notes on uh, ELR, they tested it at five, and they said if they went higher, it it actually muted it. It didn't it didn't strengthen it by going any higher than five. So that's what I used it at. It this is incredible. It it really is a good mix. Oh yeah, man. Hell yeah. So what all did you put in it? Um, I can share it if you want. Um, yeah, by all means, man. Let me say hey to people in chat real quick. Uh, anonymous base, what's up, my brother? Joff in the house, David R, man, James Riviera, hell yeah, what's up, my brother? Hell yeah, man. Show no, definitely share that. I'd love to see it, man, for real. Yeah, I've been holding out um, to release it because I just made it last night. Um, but yeah, right off the shake, I mean, you know, fruits, it's pretty good. Hell yeah, hell yeah. You know, I hadn't been mixing too much lately. Just, you know, I've got a few new recipes, but VSO, I'm going back and playing with them again. It's on up, man. Talk about it. Let's see what you got. Um, my, the, the concept I was going for is sort of like that ambrosia that they have on buffets, where it's got like marshmallows and fruit and walnut and... um. So yeah, I went with the apple uh, at 5%, cap cantaloupe at 3%, F.A. Kiwi at 2%, um, marshmallow for my sweetener, <laughs> 1.5, and pistachio. I, I don't have walnut, and I don't know, pistachio is sort of buttery to me, so I, I don't know. I thought it would go good. And then smoothie base. Uh, that was something my buddy was saying, you know, something in cream, fruits and cream, and yeah, I'm waiting to, the pistachio hadn't come out at all. I, I thought I'd be funny though, because yeah, I went with the name Ecstasy instead of Ambrosia. Okay. <laughs> if, if you read the notes, uh, I just put it as a fruit salad, but uh, it says pistachio, you might ask. Well, for it to be Ecstasy, you must get a nut. <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> For real, for real. Hell yeah, man. That's Howdy, funny. James. Hell yeah, man. So no. So what all VSO flavors do you have right now? Let's see. Um, I got that one, the blueberry, grape, strawberry, and pumpkin. Oh, so you did get the pumpkin in. Yeah. 
Y'all know, man, I tell you what. Uh, if y'all haven't tried that pumpkin, it's freaking, it's awesome. I like it, it a whole lot. And you know, it's all natural extraction, isn't it? Yes, it's all natural extraction. Yeah. See, I've never had fruit that way. Um, you know, I had like coffees and teas from Sticks Mix, um, and the tobaccos, of course. But yeah, that that so authentic. <laughs> Ain't it though? It's like, you know, I've tried a few pumpkins, you know, and a lot of them just, you know, they miss the mark really, really bad, man. They just do. Um, there's, I, I think, like, I can't even remember which one it is that I, the, like, I don't have pumpkin bread. Uh, and that's one that I just have never pulled the trigger because, you know, I'll, you know, pumpkin, you know, I never really got into pumpkin that much. You know, it's not in my forte. Like, you know, some people like certain flavors and others. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, at Christmas, my wife was wanting like a pumpkin bread vape. And I went with the pumpkin spice rather than a pumpkin flavor. And then I bought the yams and mm -hmm. sort of made one that way. But yeah, yeah I'll, I'll be really interested in trying the VSO. Oh man, it! I can see this one definitely fitting in any recipe because it's like an authentic pumpkin. It's got a little spice to it, but it's not like an overpowering, overbearing, you know? Yeah. And you don't really need that much of it nice. on, on percentage. Like, uh, I mixed this one up, the pumpkin, at 2.5%. Because that's just what ELR said the median was. Right. And you know how I am. You know, whenever I'm mixing up flavorings, I always start at the median. That way, if I think it's a little too weak, I can always add, but you can never subtract. True. <laughs> and, you know, I'm a stingy sucker man you know what i'm saying because <laughs> you know i ain't got all the money in the world so that's why we diy right that's what got me into it yeah when i started using mech mods it's like oh this is getting expensive <laughs> there's got to be a better way hell yeah <laughs> i heard that <laughs> had him put lord's egg hell yeah got a rocker in the house lewis knight in the house what's up my brother hell yeah Oh, I definitely wanted to say, um, <laughs> and I, I swear, I, you can tell how much I've been looking at the computer lately. You know, there there is a link on a lot of my videos, you know, if you'd like to donate and stuff uh, to the channel. And that helps me, you know, get new flavorings, you know, and it helps me, you know, get stuff, you know, and do stuff for the channel. And... It's a PayPal account, and I haven't looked at it in probably, you know, because hardly anybody even donates anymore. You know what I'm saying? So I don't really look for it, you know? <laughs> and uh, Warren, thank you so much for that donation. Oh, my God. I didn't even know it was on there until last week and ordered a couple new flavorings so thank you so much for that donation i'm telling you it means the world to me you know what i'm saying so thank you thank you hell yeah man i got uh that new uh flavor art blueberry juicy ripe mm. i ordered it uh i ordered soho from flavor art soho i just yeah i like soho see i never pulled the trigger on it i was always scared you know of getting it you know but I pulled it's a it. steeper it has a sort of bitter flavor i think at first yeah yeah i've got it right here i made them up yesterday oh sorry and i made it uh, started out at five percent on soho mm -hmm. and then uh that uh, blueberry juicy ripe, 
I started out at just one percent, man, just one percent, and it's kind of a little harsh to me right off the shake. It's got, but I can see in a couple days they'll probably calm down and become a really, really nice blueberry. Yeah, yeah. Sweet. But then of course you know I I got me some uh, VSO man. I went straight to VSO. I had to get me some more blueberry man. I I love that daggone blueberry. That that is one of the best authentic blueberries. I'm telling you, that stuff is that's so daggone good, man. I mean, do you have any recipes with that? Oh well, yeah. Uh, uh hippies best blueberry cheesecake ever. Um, uh, well, now that uh, let's see here. I can share it if. Okay. Hold on. Now that I've got you in the chat. I can copy. Hold on. I'm sort of lazy with single flavor, so if I could have a, a recipe to throw it into. Now, this one, there's a lot of people that I know and that uh, there's the recipe right there. Uh, a lot of people I know vape this as their all-day vape, and I do too, man. I make 60 mils all the time, and it's all-day vape, and it's good right off the shake. Oh, nice. I mean, right off the shake, but the longer you let it steep, oh, my word, the creamier and richer it gets. And, oh, it's out of this world. You can go ahead and share it. You see the link in chat? Uh, in the Zoom chat? Oh, no, huh? I'll get the Zoom chat here. Oh. Uh, let's see here. I'll put it in Zoom chat. There you go. No smoky. Man, that pumpkin is kicking butt. That's what I'm vaping on right now is that pumpkin. Mm. There we go. Share. There we go. Yeah. See, I use 7% blueberry from VSO, and it's a simple recipe. I mean, it's so simple. Now, I used a little bit of the Flavor West blueberry to give it a little, you know, extra bump, you know, but not much, yep. you see, 0.7%. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then, of course, graham cracker from Flavora. Oh, my word. A I little... just fell in love with that this past month, actually. Uh -huh. Sweetener, Flavor West sweetener, half percent. Yes, we cheesecake anywhere at two and a half percent. And Flavor West yogurt. That's it. Nice. Oh, my word. It What a that hmm. gone recipe. Oh, my word. It'll not. How is that Flavor West yogurt? I'd have to sub that one out probably. Oh, that one's hard to sub out. I'm serious. Flavor West yogurt. It really doesn't taste like a yogurt. It is more of a solid, rich cream, uh, thick and rich cream. There's no sour yogurt taste to it whatsoever. If you want to add uh, more depth to your ice creams or stuff like that, Flavor West yogurt, man. Oh, my word. Maybe I should just get that. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. It's it's a it's a staple. I'm telling you, that's I just, with that donation, I got me another 60 mil bottle of yogurt because I ran out last week live on the show <laughs> with that recipe I did last week. You know, I use yo that Flavor West yogurt in a lot of my recipes because I love it so much. Yeah, I've only had like I got creamy yogurt uh, by Capella, and it was a yogurt drink, I think, and frozen yogurt. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Sonia in the house. How you doing, Sonia? Good to see you. Good to see you. Oh, yeah. Now, uh, there's a couple new VSO flavors that are not out yet, okay, but they will be soon. Uh, a lot of us uh, are beta testing them. Um, 
Daytime Frank in the house. What's up, Josh Rowe? Tell you, welcome, welcome, man. Uh, there's a a few beta uh, flavors that he's working on that will be released really, really soon. Um, he told me I could talk about them. Um, Shane, he said, go ahead, you can talk about them. Uh, and he's going to have a tasting show hopefully it's going to be a show which i would love to see something like that you know um but he's going to be talking about them you know in depth and all of that now some of the ones that i have and i'm supposed to be getting some more he's sending me some more uh i've got blackberry blackberry from vso and he's working on the color. I know it's a little dark right here, but he's working on the color to try to get it a little bit lighter. Uh, let me pull out a different mod here. Man, I, I have lost one of my daggone mods and can't find that sucker nowhere. It's driving me up a daggone wall. Uh, it's my IPV3LI. Have you ever heard of that one? It's an mm -hmm. old mod. I'm talking like four years ago, but it had the touch fire button on the top. It was way before its time, really, man. I love, it's a dual battery square box, man. And I can't find, I just had it a couple weeks ago and I can't find it. It drives me nuts, man. So I'm going to have to rip my closet all apart just to find that sucker. I was wanting to play with it tonight. <laughs> yeah. Another flavor he's talking about that he's got right here, and this one, oh my god, watermelon. Oh, watermelon. Watermelon from VSO, and this one, oh my word, as soon as I tasted that watermelon, I was like, oh, hell yeah, you know what I'm saying, oh my nice. word, that watermelon, it doesn't have that rind taste it's tart sweet uh natural oh my word I, it's it's so hard to explain that one it, it's it's not like it's not really a candy you know i mean it well it is it's kind of a candy but it's got that the heart of the watermelon it's the heart you know with a just a touch i mean it's just it's so perfect damn i definitely got to get that one well it's not on i have i looked at his uh can you pull up vso uh flavors mm -hmm. computer is a little slow so it might take a sec but the watermelon's great with real flavor sweet tea. Okay, okay. Hell yeah. yeah. I mixed up some berry mix, candy type, babe, and use Capella strawberry taffy anywhere. She's just strawberry, Capella blackberry, Capella harvest berry, and flavor west blue raspberry. It's a good one. All right, David R. Show sure enough. I can't bake the anywhere raspberry. I get flour and chemical taste. Now, that happens a lot on uh, some of your blackberries, but the raspberry, now you get, now, Sonia, have you ever, have you heard of anywhere garden uh, raspberry? Anywhere garden raspberry is a really really nice one uh, now also vso's got red raspberry and it's out right now and it's really really good uh see and i mixed it at three percent that's the suggested mix on the, the red raspberry it's three percent but after taste testing it 
I see it's going to have to be bumped up a little bit higher uh, for my taste. Um, so I'm probably going to add some more to this tonight. Some raspberry and probably put it up to 5%. That's not enough. I'm going to go 7%. That's not enough. Man. You know what I'm saying? So everybody's tastes are different, you know? <laughs> but uh, yeah, go ahead. You can share it. Go ahead. VSO. Okay. So enough, man. Fall arrivals. All right. There's the new ones right there. The VSO pair. The VSO Red Raspberry, and of course the pumpkin. Uh, the pear. The pear, they, they say on VSO mix it at three and a half. I mix it at four and a half. Uh, it's a Bartlett pear. Really sweet. Got a really, really nice pear flavor. This is one of those pears where it will stand out in a mix. It won't get buried too badly. Well, it all depends on what you're mixing it with too. Like uh, if you're wanting a pear taste, like in the background, that's a good pear to get is VSO's pear. Really, really nice. Did an awesome. That's a Bartlett pear. You almost kind of get that graininess. You know how sometimes, like, you know, you'll get a pear. Like, there's all kind of different kinds of pears. You go to the grocery store and there's all kind of different pears, right? Well, some of them are real soft. You ever bit into a really soft pear? And you'll get that grainy type taste. And then you've got another pair. Like, you bite into it. It's harder than a daggone apple. It's like, ugh, you know. And you bite yeah. into it. It almost breaks your daggone teeth. And it's got a little tart to it and sweet to it also. But it's got that graininess too. Well, that Bartlett pear is the softer pear that's a little sweet the skin's got a little tartness to it and it's got the graininess that's what this pear is it's just like that it's awesome nice. a really really nice pear let's see what chat's saying uh let's see here it's anywhere cheesecake vso blueberry is great oh yeah man that blueberry oh yeah I tried that because Fresh loves it, but it didn't work for me. I yeah, I think that it. cap raspberry is perfumey too. Yeah, yeah, that's one of those raspberries I let sit on my shelf until it expired and I threw it away. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Yeah. Oh, hey, Addy. Addy Tooney in the house. What's up, Addy? How you doing this evening? Hell yeah. Uh, there's perfume. Um, let's see here. Apple goes well with the raspberry. Oh, for dang sure. You talking about the VSO apple with uh, VSO's red raspberry? Is that what you're talking about, David? The fox piece. You look less red, brother. Well, you ain't looking. See that? It's still. Look how swollen this stuff is, man. It's still out there. But I got the test. You wasn't here. I got another ultrasound going on my neck, checking my arteries, see if they're clogged. Because he's just checking all options. But I still say it's a daggone flu shot, for real. I am so freaking tempted to vape on me some of that CBD. But I think that flu shot is kind of counteracting with all of that. You know, it's all tied yeah. in together, you know, and... It's like in my throat. It's just it's pitiful. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. All right. Let's see here. Um, the blackberry. Now, let me find me uh, a good clean Addy here. Let's 
find a good Addy. Something that doesn't have too much on it. You know what I mean? Oh, I know it's one. That wasp will do just fine. Well, wait a minute. Hold on. Let's try. Man, I broke out my old ass alien. Remember them moths? Look how old yeah. that sucker is, man. This is when they first came out. That sucker still works like a deck on champ. Nice. Yeah, I've never had a mod that I bought go bad other than used ones. Nothing I ever bought new has ever went bad. Well, I usually had, sell them, I guess, before they go bad. I don't know. I had one mod go bad on me, and that was that uh, uh, top side single. Mm. My top side single. I didn't buy it. Uh, actually won it in black cat white face oh cool yeah uh well my stepdaughter won it and i bought it from her <laughs> so i did buy it i guess but because <laughs> she wasn't much of a squonker you know yeah yeah i but, feel it. yeah juice got down on the inside of that mod mm. yep juice got on the inside and just messed it all up and then, of course, my Jeep Riv, I had to put it down because it finally, it's finally croaking on me, and I just didn't want to croak all the way, so I just put it away, you know? I love yeah. that little Jeep Riv, man. That was the first touch screen, you know, or the yeah. best touch screen that came out back in the day. So I no, got that one from, uh, what was it, Heaven's Gifts for, I think it I had to put it on pre-order because it was a purple one. Mm, you know, yeah. I think it was like a hundred and five dollars brand new. Damn. But it lasted four years, almost yeah. five years. Yeah. So, yeah. Remember when mods were a dollar per watt? Pretty much, <laughs> yeah. The Segele 150 was 150 bucks. <laughs> but that mod lasted forever and the paint never chipped because it had that like rubberized finish sort of. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. yeah. That thing was great. I sold it on eBay. <laughs> blackberry and strawberry with less of the blackberry do nice things. Oh, yeah, David. So now. Berries and apples go well together. Oh, yeah. Peach and passion fruit are a great mix. I have only got Capella blackberry. Oh, bless your heart, David. Bless your heart. Man, and you've got one of the lowest ones on the totem pole. Capella Blackberry. Oh, my word. I got that four years ago, and it's been sitting up there ever since, and I've never used it. It, uh, uh, my boo. It's, it's, gross. <laughs> it's so weak, too, and just has a god-awful taste to it. Yeah. Now... I'll show you the top three blackberries. Now, trust me, he, this is just beta testing on VSO's blackberry. So I wouldn't compare that one with these at all for right now. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I'll show you the best, the three best blackberries in my book. And now I'd say number one, is a toss-up between Flavor West Blackberry, which is a really good blackberry. Nice. And here's one that you can still buy, I think. I'm not sure. But it's Real Flavors Blackberry. Super Concentrate. Mm. Super Concentrate. Real Flavors. Now, that's a really good blackberry as well. Now, neither, none of these are floral, okay? None of these have a floral note to them. VSO blackberry does not have a floral note to it either. It's like a fresh, ripe blackberry as well, VSOs. And then this one's going to shock a lot of people. TFA blackberry. Hmm. Well, it, well, freak it. There it goes. TFA Blackberry. Now, a lot of people mess up when they use TFA's Blackberry. 
come. They use it way too high. And some of the times you think of TFA, you got to use it, you know, 5% for a median and stuff like that. No, not on this Blackberry. Use this stuff like quarter to a half a percent even. Don't go over 1% because you're just going to mess up your recipe. Use that Blackberry half a percent like in a mixed berry vape or something. And you need a little Blackberry. Boom, a quarter percent of TFA Blackberry. You got it going on. Nice. Half percent to one percent Flavor West Blackberry. Boom, you can't go wrong. Those Blackberries are awesome. Yeah. I've only used the Blackberry at 1% to 1.5. Don't go over 1. I heard that, Sasso. Hell yeah. It's got kind of like a very ripe raspberry. Yeah, it really is, James. It sure is. It sure is. Like peach flavor. Or, oh, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. I love me some white peach. Matter of fact, I just made me some uh, a recipe called Fuzzy Suede. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Fuzzy Suede. But I'm not releasing it yet. It's still being tested. And it's a peach tobacco. Yeah. Oh, nice. A really nice peach tobacco. <laughs> I had uh, Wonder Flavors, peach pie and cream. I, I love that one because it's got everything, basically. But, uh, yeah, I was just throwing something together real quick to vape on. And I was going by ELR. You know, they're suggested 5%. <laughs> no. I never used it. No, that was way too high. Like three percent's good, you know, as a main note. But five, yeah. <laughs> <Not good. laughs> I, yeah. Now you can tell who the people are on ELR. You know that know what the hell they're doing, really. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because we've been there. We've done that. I was like, God, go on. They're going way too high on that. Yeah, you can tell real easy who knows what the hell they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Although I do like that it gives you a suggestion, though. Especially, I bet that helps, you know, new people for the most part. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. And, yeah, is uh, the eggnog with that peach pie and cream. Oh, for real. That's awesome. I made me a bottle of that, and I couldn't stay out of it. Oh, my Lord. Oh, wow. What's the percentages on that? Oh, shoot. I forgot. Uh, Addy, what were the percentages on that? It was peach pie cream, I think at like um, uh, 7% or something like that. And then the uh, eggnog was like about 1% or 2 I can't remember. Uh, it was some a mixer on uh, all the flavors that uh, did that recipe. And I can't remember his name to save my life right offhand. I can't remember his name. Maybe Addy can put it in the chat and put that recipe. Shindo. Okay. Shindo. Yeah. Shindo. And just two flavor banger, man. Awesome. Let's see if awesome. I can find it. Yeah. It's just peach pine cream and uh, eggnog from Flavor. Sure enough. Oh, new coal. Let's see here. Are you building coals yet? Me? I mean, I could do like really crappy fused Claftons, but usually I just do round wire. I'm lazy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it vapes, you know. Uh, <laughs> uh oh. Swaggy Shane just popped in. What's up, man? Talking about your flavorings. Watch out. Show no, show no. <laughs> I'll tell you what. I am so impressed, Shane. So daggone impressed with these flavorings. That pumpkin is blowing my mind. The pear just blew me away. That watermelon is to die for. The blackberry, I might have to raise it up just a little bit higher than 3%. Uh, but it's got a really nice, authentic flavor to it. Uh, let's see. 
The red raspberry, I'm going to raise mine up a little bit. I've mixed it at 3%, but I'm going to raise it up a little bit higher, uh, just my taste. Um, uh, man, i got to stay out of that watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> I love my watermelons, man. I'm going to put the red raspberry on my wasp here because I got uh, the coal I'm going to build tonight. It's a Nichrome 80 coal, actually. It's Nichrome 80. Uh, I started back building on a few Nichrome 80 builds again, you know. I mean, shoot, it's not bothering me, you know. I, I think I'm allergic to it. Yeah. That red raspberry, I'm going to raise it up a little higher than the 3%. Sure enough. And plus, I just mixed all these up today. They came in the mail today. You see, I got them all lined up back here. Um, and so I just mixed them up like about two hours before the show. Oh, uh, because, you know, today was grocery day, man. I went to the store. I went to Piggly Wiggly, man. Piggly Wiggly. Have you heard of Piggly Wiggly? <laughs> yeah, ours closed down years ago. But <laughs> Guess what me and my wife did? We ordered two Piggly Wiggly t-shirts. Nice. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You know what the back of the shirt said and the reason why we jumped on it? It's because the back of it says, peace, love, and the pig. <laughs> <laughs> and then on the front says Piggly Wiggly. So when I got me a green one, my wife got a purple one. So when it comes in, I got to show that one off, man. I think that's so funny, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm wearing a Piggly Wiggly shirt right now. That's so oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, kid, they sell them. Hats and all kind of stuff right there in the front of the store, man. <laughs> Hell yeah. They got good meat. I'm not kidding. I'm talking awesome cuts. Man, I got some pork chops. That damn thick. He went back there and cut me some thick old pork chops, boneless. Man, I'm going to plop them bad boys on the grill, man. Bake me some of Hippie's Best Blueberry Cheesecake in the meantime, using VSO nice. Blueberry. <laughs> Oh, 7% peach pie and 1.25 eggnog. Okay. Yeah, cool. yeah. That's an awesome, awesome recipe. I mixed that up like two weeks ago during the chat and fell in love with it. Oh, man. Baked up that whole bottle in like two days. <laughs> I didn't even it's just, even it's pretty well a shake and vape, I guess. Or? Oh, yeah. Right off the shake. It's, it's just awesome. Right. right off the shake. For real. Don't know. That sounds real good. Oh, yeah. Addy, if you want to share the link, you're more than welcome to that recipe. You can share the link itself so people can go and check it out. I think it's on all the flavors. Actually, I looked up Shindo anyway, and he has two recipes, but they're not public. Unless I, I spelled it wrong or something. But Shane, I just made you a moderator. There we go. All right. Sure enough, man. Sure oh, enough. cool. Addy's got it. Nice. Let's there see. you go. Yeah. Yeah, sure enough. Yeah, y'all. Yeah, I spelled it with an I instead of a Y. My bad. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, don't forget now, VSO, man. Uh, go ahead and pull up their link again when you get a chance. And we can scroll through their website, his website and everything. They've got a lot, man. I'm talking a lot. Y'all don't forget, you know, they got uh, Gizzard Stews, Gizzard Brews, uh, Strawberry Custard, man. Oh, man. I'm talking about, he's got his little, his line, you know, of the, you got the, uh, the Vanilla Custard, you know, mm. Sport Life. Got sport, man. <laughs> so, no. And then, of course, you know. You can get one shots from VSO. One shots where all you gotta do is like uh you got swaggy cinnamon, 
It's a really, really, you like cinnamon roll? Really, yeah. really nice cinnamon roll right here with the icing on it. One shots. Oh, man. Another good one. They got, you know, strawberry cereals, just one of them. And then Bodacious Blue. Bodacious Blue, a banana blueberry. So, nice. Oh, man. Then you got, well, I don't know if he still sells this one or not, but Julius Tarted. And <laughs> this one's really, really nice. I, I, that was one of my favorites. I, hold on. I only vape that at special occasions. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. it's so <laughs> good, you know? It's just... <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, but you can also get, you know, the, the strawberry uh, custard from Gizzard and Brew, uh, you know, and one shot and mix your own. Yeah, man. Check out all that at DSO. And like I said, 17% off if you just put in H-I-P-P-Y. You get 17% off your whole order, man. Can't go wrong. And definitely, you get that. They got that bundle now. You can pick, and you can pick. You can get four 15 milliliter bottles for nine ninety five, and then you put hippie in the coupon code, save seventeen percent. That way, you can and you can pick whatever flavors you want. You can pick strawberry, blueberry, uh, grape, apple. Pumpkin, uh, what pear, red raspberry, you know, and pick which four you want, and you can't go wrong, you know, you just can't go wrong. Uh, would BSO deliver to Austria? Hmm. He said yes. He'll deliver to Austria. So nice. enough. So definitely go check out VSO Flavors. There's the link. James put the link out there. Thank you, James. So no, man. Yep, well, I'm, we're going to come up with a mix a little bit later on. What do you think, man? What do you think? Yeah, that'd be real cool. Yeah, we'll come up with something. Just to mess around, have fun, you know? I got a funny story for you. I All probably right. shouldn't say this because it's sort of incriminating myself. But <laughs> I, I want to blame it on getting old, you know, or older. But I don't, I don't know. I don't think I could do it. Well, me and my dad was going to this store about an hour and a half away from his house. He lives in Illinois. Um, uh, I drove up there. This was Wednesday. Um, I got up a little late. I was supposed to be there at ten. Got there at eleven or whatever, and. But, you know, we were just we were just having fun. Drove up there and we had to park on one side of the street and walk across. Well, when I'm when I'm walking around, I'm, I always look down. I don't know. Find money, find stuff. It's just I always look down. Well, I'd noticed on one one foot, I got a work boot on the other foot. I got a tennis shoe on. <laughs> And I couldn't turn around and go home. You know, it's like I had to go through the store, you know, stand in line behind people with two different shoes on completely. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> yeah. Now, that, my, my wife, every once in a while, she'll walk on and have, walk around and don't even realize she's got two different colored socks on. <laughs> you know? <laughs> And I, I do sometimes I think my wife is colorblind. <laughs> I'm serious. She'll look at uh, like orange and say it's, she called it red, but it's orange. Yeah. You know, or sometimes yellow, you know, is orange to her, but it's yellow, you know. Yeah, certain things like that. All my socks are tie dye, so they match no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, think of it this way, uh, Aaron. It's like, uh, just go to Walmart. Nobody think any different because everybody <laughs> at Walmart wears freaking pajamas and everything yeah. else, man. <laughs> you know, yeah. <laughs> slippers. Oh my word! <laughs> Every time.
time I see it, it's like, oh my God, who's gonna go to the store dressed in your your slippers and pajamas? <laughs> like those are supposed to be real clothes? What's wrong with these people, man? <laughs> I ride the scooter around when I go. Oh my God. I, love I mean, as long as there's, you know, if there's six of them there, yeah. If there's like two, no, I'm going to, you know, somebody might need them. But yeah, if they got six or 10 of them sitting there, hell yeah. You ain't right. <laughs> My wife won't walk with me, but. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. See, I used to run around the store, you know. <laughs> hey, honey, you forgot these. But this she's <laughs> got me back now. She's got preparation H. Hey, sweetheart, don't you need this? You know? <laughs> Roland, how you doing, man? Welcome, welcome. Welcome to the madhouse. <laughs> For real, the madhouse. <laughs> Man, I want to smoke some CBD so damn bad it ain't funny, Aaron. I am serious. I got so much in my deck on closet. That, man. And then I keep watching videos, you know. Uh, you ever heard of taking a boot? Mm -mm. Oh, man. He, he mixes. He's an old uh, vapor. You know, he's an old guy. Well, not old, but, you know, he's yeah. been around for a long time. Um, and he does a lot of reviews on CBD and gummies and all kind of stuff too. Uh, he, he comes in chat every once in a while. Watch me. I'm talking about him. He's going to pop in. <laughs> <laughs> so I was watching some of his videos just recently. He puts them out of some other companies that do the, uh, sell CBD. And I've only been getting it from a few companies, you know, mainly from plain Jane. And I'm thinking about venturing out and trying some other CBD. Oh, yeah. No, James, it's still swollen up, man. Still swollen up. Still swollen up on my neck. But like I said, you watch. It happens every... Well, not my neck. This is the first year. They say, the pharmacist told me even, that the more you take, every year you take the flu shot, the worse it'll get if you have an allergic reaction. Mm. And... I looked it up, and they say the flu shot will stay in your body for up to six months. Now, I've been getting it for the last three years. The first year, I was paralyzed for like two weeks. I had a big old knot behind my nose, and it was cutting off some nerves. And I got it in November. By January, February, it's like all of a sudden it popped. As soon as it popped and all it drained and everything, boom, it was like a light switch. Everything was back to normal. That was the first year I had the flu shot. Last year I had the second year I took the flu shot. After three weeks after I got the flu shot, I felt sick, uh, just drained. And then I kept thinking my nicotine was bad. Like it tasted peppery and just, you know, my taste buds went all out and all out of whack. And so I called my, who I get my nicotine from. It's like, man, y'all got gave me some bad nicotine. I thought, I don't know if y'all remember that the year a, a year ago. I was like, I think I got some bad nicotine. Well, guess what? I'm starting to put two and two together. Because yeah. this year I had the flu shot, November the 10th. You watch, February 10th, in a couple of days, it'll be three months. And then I get, like, it's all in my throat, and my nicotine tastes like the same peppery taste, and I know nothing's wrong with my nicotine, you yeah. know? Because I'm sitting there thinking, oh, it's been the same thing. And I get these little scabs you know on my head and all on my face and my chin and as soon as them scabs go away it's like boom the flu shot's gone and i'm back to normal so i think that's what's 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 doing all this yeah. i hope it's not my arteries being clogged up you know with plaque and stuff but i'm getting that tested uh the 12th so update coming next week on the live stream 
I'll get better, I promise everybody. I'll get all back to my crazy, goofy self. Well, I'm already goofy anyway, so hell. <laughs> <laughs> hell, I'm glad you're on the show with me, man. Oh, uh, thanks. Shoot, we'll get you on more often. I, uh, yeah, what's going on with uh, y'all still doing your other live show, or, or is it over, um, or what? You know, Steve O's took a hiatus. Um, but I've, you know, I've been on uh, Homegrown Alchemy on Wednesday nights, and I've been trying to do mixing help, Mixers Helping Mixers mic show on uh, Saturday, yeah. but either I work or I'm out of town or like this last time, I took a nap <laughs> and I woke up too late. <laughs> yeah, I've been on uh, Mixers Helping Mixers the last two Saturdays. You know, yeah, he's had quite a few people on there. Yeah. I like being in chat a lot of times too. It's it's fun just you know because chat different conversations are going on as well. And... Oh yeah, oh yeah. Naps are priceless. I heard that man. <laughs> like what <laughs> this stuff that's going on with me has gotten insomnia. I'm not kidding. I even take a sleeping pill. Freaking, I've tried Nyquil. Oh. Uh, just all kind of stuff so I can, can't sleep. I took two Xanax last night and I ain't taken them for a long time now, over two months now. And man, I finally got me some damn sleep. I slept through the whole night last night. So, man, I was so thankful for that. Never had a flu shot. To be fair, though, I don't really get sick that much anymore since I quit smoking. I heard that, and I'm telling you, I think that flu shot's what's messing me up. I'm not taking it next year, and I'm like a guinea pig. That'll be my test. Yeah, Courtney, you know, being a nurse, she has to get a flu shot, you know, every year. Me, I refuse. Um, I watched watching Netflix, watching uh, documentaries and stuff. It was a documentary on the flu, and towards the end, you know, they said once you beat a strain of flu. You can never get it again. Your body creates antibodies that will defeat that strain every time. So I, I figure as long as I'm healthy enough, I might as well battle the flu every year. So I don't want to get to the point where, boom, I get hit with five different strains of flu that, you know, because I've been immune to myself to it. Yeah, you know, I don't know. Maybe I'm just paranoid, but I do get sick every year. <laughs> but since I've started vaping, uh, nothing's infected it's crazy blue dream uh is that cbd adam and what company <laughs> <laughs> i'm for real man yeah <laughs> have you tried uh making using the isolate and making e-liquid cbd um, not yet um uh, i've been real hesitant because of what's going on in my body right now. Uh, That's what I make for Cork because she can't do the net, the flower just because it, you know, that has a little bit of THC in it where the isolate, it's pure. You know, there's, it's pure CBD. Well, it helps her go to sleep. Uh, that's about all I think she uses it for. Well, uh, I'm going to find out. Uh, the doctor didn't call me back. I did a dr drug screen. Uh, last week and I've been smoking the hell out of that CBD and I wanted to take I was curious yeah now, uh, um, they say that you can smoke the hell out of that CBD and you will not fail a drug screen even really? though it has 0.3 percent uh, THC in it that's the legal amount that you, they can put in it or you know the yeah. genetics of it uh it's delta nine thc delta nine um but yeah they, they like the gummies and all that it's less than 0.3 percent thc um, nice so yeah a lot of people talk about it, you know they got jobs and right they're well, that's what she was worried about because she tried the flower and was like yeah this is good but is it too good? You know what I mean? Like, is the, you know, is, is it bordering on, hey, this is, you know, not good, you know, for employment and stuff. Yeah, man. I'm sorry. I'll 
Yeah, <laughs> Adam, you're in Illinois now, huh? <laughs> That's nice. Ooh, man, I just opened this box. This is some loud stuff, man. Oh my God, this is some loud ass stuff. Holy shit. There you go, man. Hold on. I'm just going to all of this. Man. Bam, bam, bam. Man. There's freaking tons of CBD over here, man. Nice. Tons of it. Let me pull out one of my favorite strains, man. Show y'all a bit of this stuff. Some sour spice candy, man. <laughs> oh my God, this stuff's so freaking loud. Whew. Oh, don't look. I'm... Damn, man. Showing up for real, for real. That's nice. Oh, my word, man. I want to smoke some so damn bad. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't want to freak out or nothing. Dude, where's that one that's got a big ass bud in it? Here's some special sauce. Look at this big ass bud. Hold on. Special sauce, man. Is that named after G Love? Nice, nice little bud, man. For real. Mm. Oh, yeah. I'll be doing more uh, reviews for real on CBD flower because, I mean, it, 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 I'm tired of being in the fog. Now, don't get me wrong. I still smoke the real stuff a little bit here and there. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's nice to take a break, you know, and get out of the fog. That's what I call it, the fog, you know, and get my mind clear, and that CBD, man, it's, I love it, it's, you know, you, you can function, and you're clear-headed, uh, like that isolate you're talking about, uh, yeah. man, I've been looking at different companies, I've ran across one company, they're wanting freaking almost 60 damn dollars for a gram of the CBD isolate. I'm like, they're out of their damn mind. Yeah, you can I, get it on Amazon for 20 bucks. I don't trust well, 25 that. with shipping. I don't trust it off Amazon. <laughs> I'd go to a company, you know. Now, I found it for like 25 bucks for a gram of the isolate. 99% pure isolate. Yeah. Nude CBD is $35 for an eight ball. Oh, snap. <laughs> oh, snap. I might have to. Do they sell flour, too? <laughs> What's eight ball? Two and a half grams? I have two fucking kids with the flu. Heard you guys talking about the flu as I press my headphones to my ears as they evacuated all of their stomach. Oh, man. <laughs> rough <laughs> three and a half grams okay so it's the same as the eight all right yeah oh the eight ball duh. <laughs> yeah yeah well that's not bad nude cbd i'm gonna have to type them in and look at that that website and see what they yeah, got that's real good yeah see because i'm i'm wanting to do the uh isolate because See, I had this company. They mailed me. I don't know. I showed it a couple of weeks ago. Uh, and Cloud9 Hemp, 1,000 milligrams, CBD e-liquid. Oh, it's an e-liquid? Okay. Yeah, CBD e-liquid. And this is some nasty ass shit. <laughs> I am not kidding. I mean... If you taste it on your tongue, you can tell this is supposed to be a strawberry uh, cheesecake. Whoever mixed this up, damn sure don't know how to freaking mix flavorings. I'm serious. They are way off the mark. <laughs> and they sent me like three bottles 
And it's honestly, I think that's the, it's a 50 50. Okay. So I had to break out my old ass Kanger sub box mini. Nice. And put a one ohm build in there, one ohm coal. And it, I'm telling you, it still tastes like crap. It's just so free. And that's what's in there right now, matter of fact. And you know, I ain't made none of it. <laughs> it's been just it's sitting there for four months now, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Elvis in the house. What's up? I got some blue suede shoes, my brother. I'm late to the show tonight. Got some VSO red raspberry and pear in today. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. See, everybody's coming around. Get that VSO flavorings, man. Use Hippie uh, for 17% off. Sure enough. Everybody loves saving that little bit of money. Shoot, man. So what uh, VSO flavors did you say you had again? You had uh, apple and what else? Grape. Grape. Uh, blueberry, strawberry. Pumpkin. I know. I think I'm forgetting one. Here, I, I'll grab it real quick. Later, James. You have a good evening, my brother. Thanks for popping in. Hey, uh, Adam, you won't go wrong with that pumpkin pear. Pumpkin and pear and Oh my word! These these are my mixing shelves. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that. Strawberry, blueberry, apple. Yeah, that's it. Mm. Thinking about something with the blueberry. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I'm not a big strawberry vapor, but a lot of people are. <laughs> so I didn't even know it. I ran, I'm out of my daggone strawberry. Beer goes strawberry. I got to order me some more daggone strawberry. I didn't even realize I was out. I had the daggone bottle sitting up there, and mm -hmm. I'm freaking empty. I got like a couple little drops left in there. Like, damn, man. I didn't even know I was out. I gotta get me some more. I love these little 15 mil bottles, man. I love these bottles. Oh, and Shane, I really, really love the new bottles. I love these new bottles. These are so freaking awesome. It's got the are they Gorilla top. bottles? That's what they remind me of. Like the chubby gorillas. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Like in these new bottles. Uh, remember I had the old bottles were like these right here. These were so hard to squeeze. Cause real yeah, hard that's like the old Wizard Lab bottles. Yeah. I really like these new bottles. I love them. I don't like them. I love them. And I love these little 15 mils, man. I, I mean, these... They're the cutest little daggone bottle, man. <laughs> I love them. Yeah, I like that they're the softer plastic. Yes, yes. So you can squeeze it better. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's the old blueberry bottle. Oh. With that twist cap on it. Yeah, the Yorker or whatever. Yeah, and sometimes when you open them, it wants to go bloop out after you shake your, mint, your flavoring up. Yeah. And you go to open it, it goes bloop, and some comes out the top. And those weigh like 0.5, the drops, where these weigh 0. 0.3 or 0, 0. 0.03. Yep, yep, that's right, the tip, yeah. I like it, the smaller drops, for Me sure. Too. Mm -hmm. What do they call that, the unicorn tips? Yeah, I think yeah. so. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> what to make with the blueberry? I've been doing a lot of creams lately. 
Hell yeah. How about uh, you pull up a uh, uh, ELR and be thinking of a recipe. I'm going to wrap up a quick coil. I've already done my my decor. Okay. okay. Oh, oh, I'm going to hold a piece of paper up for everybody. Okay. So y'all can come back. Y'all can pause this video whenever I hold this up. And this is a guide to help you make an alien coil. What's up, Chrono? Chrono in the house, man. Hell yeah. Now, this is a guide to help you make an alien, okay? Uh, whatever core you want. Let me uh, pull up my big camera here so I can see real good. Okay. Now, let's see here. All right. Now, I'm going to hold this up and see if y'all see this, okay? Now, for a 28-gauge core, there's two core, three core, four core, or five core, or six core, okay? Now, to get your decor, what you're going to wrap around your alien, you, of course, you, you know you've got a single wire, okay? One wire. Now, for, let's say, a three-core alien, which is right here, and you're using 28-gauge cores, 28-gauge wire. Doesn't matter what kind of wire, nichrome 80, stainless steel, canthal, whatever wire you're using. Let's start with a three-core. So that core that you're going to wrap is going to be a 28-gauge. If you're doing four 28 gauge wires you need a 26 gauge wire for your decor and so on you see five core gets up there 24 six core 22 but you see what i'm saying so if you're making a fused alien which is two core you would use a 30 gauge wire to do your decor okay and that's 28 gauge wire right here now for 26 gauge wire, there's your measurements right there. You're doing a two core, two 26 gauge wires. You would use a 28 gauge wire for your decor. For three core, 26 gauge wire, and so forth. Okay? So there's your measurements so you know what wire, what size wire to use for your decor for however many cores you're using on the center. Does that make sense? What do you think, Aaron? Does that make sense? Oh, you're muted. <laughs> All right. Now, Sorry, I was talking. <laughs> does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Now, here's the trick. You new builders out there. Whenever you're building an alien, don't do like you see all these builders out there, these coal builders, they're making big old long strands of wire, you know, big two, three, and four foot long wires. Well, when you're new to building an alien, it's, you're just bound to mess up. I mean, just bound to mess up. No, I'm serious. So what you do, rule of thumb, for your decor, you know, I'm going to bring this, I'm just going to show you right down here. All right. Now, I got my measuring tape right down here. Okay. 10 inches. So I put 10 inches down here on the table, right here, and here's my 10 inches, right there. This right here, 10 inches, is what you need to make like a 6 to 8 inch alien. So your alien wire is only going to be 6 to 8 inches. I make my wire a little longer 
my th like I'm fixing to do a three core alien. Okay, so for a three core alien, I used 28 gauge right here, single wire. Wrap this opposite of what I normally wrap my like like Devi's done uh alien I mean a uh, regular fuse clap ends or whatever. Let's say you've got it going this direction, okay, clockwise. Let's say you've got it going, well, this is really counterclockwise or whatever. But this is the way I like to wrap with it running this way. Whenever you're doing your decor, which is, you know, just like a Clapton wire, you want to put it in reverse so it's going the other direction first, okay? This is how an alien works. You put it in the reverse direction. Make sure you've got good swivels, ball bearing swivels, so they don't jank up on you and stop because then you'll mess your whole build up. And you can find ball bearing swivels at Bass Pro Shop. You can get five ball bearing swivels for like five, less than $10. For four swivels. Okay, I only got two down here. I always put two swivels down here just to make sure, just in case if one stops spinning, the other one's still gonna spin and it won't mess up my wire. Okay, now once you've done it the opposite way that you are going to wrap it and you have done your clapping 10 inches, 10 to 14 inches. Okay. Take it out of the chuck, and let me get my cutters. Let me move all this stuff around so I can do this. Show y'all what I'm talking about. Oh, and to start off, you don't, whenever you have your single wire, and you're fixing the Clapton, your alien decor, do not twist your wire to straighten it. Because if you twist your wire, you will actually be putting grooves in that wire to where your decor will not slide off properly. Mm. That's a lot of people's mistake. They'll twist that wire to get it straight and they're messed up right there. Because then when they try to slide their decor off, it won't slide off easy just like that. There's my decor right there. Okay, there's my decor. Boom. Now I'm gonna save this wire. And here so you're not wasting it. This is a 28 gauge wire because I'm doing three core. Okay. I'm gonna take that off. And like I said, you know, I'm just gonna cut that end off. So I've just got me a piece of wire right here. See? Now, I'm only got now I'm doing three core. So and I'm doing I'm trying to get one coil really you might be able to get two coils out of this but I'm going to pull off a foot of wire a foot because I'm only gonna need six inches six or seven inches you know so I'm just pulling off a foot because I'm making one coil that's it one coil that's all I want is one coil so I take this one foot piece of wire that I just pulled off my 28 gauge wire and I'm gonna fold it in half okay slide my finger down it and pinch pinch the end right here just gonna pinch it just like that okay just gonna pinch it all right there's that. Then I'm going to take that other 28 gauge wire and put it up. Let me get my, I'm going to need my, my spectacles because I'm blind as a bat. All right. And I'm just going to take this wire and put it right in the middle there. So the end of that wire is, you know, matching the other three you see all right now once you get that you bring them real tight together 
like that, you see. And then if you've got nylon pliers, which I use nylon pliers, you can get these real cheap off eBay, man. Real damn cheap, like five bucks off eBay. You just grab your three wires and leave about that much sticking out if it'll focus. Leave about, you know, that much off. All right. Now, open your chunk of your drill up. Oh, my camera's falling. See that? I got fuzz all and cotton all over. Now, here's the easy way to do it, people. The easy way to do it. It's foolproof. Now, the start of your wire is where it all goes wrong. If I just stick the end of this right in the tip of my chuck of my drill, you don't have to tighten it down very tight. And then you hold your pliers really, really tight and spin it so it twists. Oh, wrong way. Spin it so it twists up just like that. Open your chuck. Now you've got it so it looks twisted just like that. If it'll freaking focus. Stupid camera. There it goes. See? Just like that. Now I haven't let go of my pliers. Now I'm going to stick that right in the center of the chuck of my drill and tighten it down. Boom. Now you have those three wires so they're lined up and they're tight right at the beginning all right now y'all seen these at dollar tree walmart whatever these little bitty uh clothes pins okay now what you do let me pull this up. Let me see here. Uh, pull this. Sorry, I'm going to knock you off for just a second, Aaron. All right. Now, you've got your three wires together right here at the chuck of the drill. Take your fingernail. Make sure all three wires are you know, coming out right. And I see a problem already, daggone it, because I'm talking too daggone much. Let me pull this one out. I got to put it down, because I'm so used to doing it down here on the table. So I can see better. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit. Let me pull my other thing up. I'll zoom in here in just a second. Hold on. Oh, I can't do it. Uh, there it goes. Hold on. Now let's see here. How's that? Is that a little better? All right. Now, take this. Slide this down here some more. Grab your fingernail and you pull so your wires are tight. And all three of them are laying side by side. And you go about every two inches and put you a clothespin right at where the spring is at. You see where it's all flat right there? Just keep coming down. Put your clothespin. And right when you get to the end, you're holding it tight. You just bend up, just like that. Let me move this out of the way so you don't see. And you're holding it tight. And fold it over just like that. I'm trying to get over here so you don't see. Let me move this out of the way some more. Let me cut this long piece off from that first 28 gauge. 
just like that. Just fold it over. Just like that. There. Now, let's see if I can bring this down so y'all can really, really see. All right, you see how it's flat. All three wires are flat and side by side. You see that? All the way to the chip. See, there's a little bit of a gap right here, and that's where a lot of people mess up. You just got to make sure that it's tight and everything. Okay? Now, bring it back up here so y'all can see. All right, here's your decor. Oh, let me back up for a sec and show y'all something. Let me uh, bring this back out. All right, now I've got my three cores, okay? Now you take your decor, grab each end. Now remember, this is only 10 inch decor, okay? For 10 to 12 inch decor, you don't want to overstretch it. You stretch it about right there you see what i'm talking about right there that's it your arm length that's your decor then you drop it and it'll unravel so be careful so it doesn't ravel up on itself okay and if you got carpet on the floor or a cat Make sure the cat ain't coming around and grabbing your deck on wire and running off with it. You see Hippie back there looking, okay? <laughs> All right, now let me zoom in again. Okay, now I'm going to show you the stretch on it. Okay, well, focus. See that? Now, Take that. Now all I'm gonna do is take the end and I'm just gonna wrap it around. There's two, three, four. Okay. And I'm gonna pull a little tight on this one and just slide this one down. So it's at the beginning. Okay, that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to slide it down just like that. All right, now I'm going to cut this long piece off just like that. I got my drill. Now I'm going to hold your watch at the angle of my wire. Of course, it's not going to do right right at the beginning. Let me make sure I get this. might have to bring this up just a little bit and you go real slow now I'm holding tension on my wire and there's your trick you can just slide this down a little bit Slide your thing down a little bit. Go a little more. Now, I'm going to take this first one off. I don't need it anymore. Just 
slide that one down a little bit. Oh, see, I messed up right there. But that's okay. It'll still be okay. Keep your wire pretty much at a 90 degree angle instead of writing. You know, if you're doing an alien, I mean a, a clap, then you keep your angle of your wire, you know, in front of it. You see what I'm saying? But on a alien, you want to keep it at a 90 degree angle. You just keep moving it along. Just take your time. You don't have to get up. Oh, see, I messed up right there. Now, sometimes, now, some people say you can't. Uh, fix an alien, but you can, but you can only undo it one time. Ah, oh well, oh well, I got enough wire right here. I've got enough wire to get one coal. Okay, that's all I need. It's just enough to build one coal, so I'm just gonna cut it right there where I started messing up. And boom, hold on. All right, now I'm gonna throw the rest of this wire away. It ain't no big, there's only like this much left. You see what I'm saying? You see? It's always good to have a little extra because you never know. You never know. All right, and then I'm gonna cut this off right here at this end. Boom, there's my stick. And the practice makes perfect, you know? No matter. Practice makes perfect. You know? And once you have a coal built, you don't need to build another one for a long time. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm gonna take my nylon pliers and I'm gonna go along and I'm just gonna squeeze and we'll go up the wire to make sure everything is flat and in its space. All three, your three cores are in there. I'm just going to keep walking it up just like this. Boom. Now I have one mess up in there. See that mess up? One mess up. But it's not going to mess up your coal that bad. Let me uh, back out on the camera now. So, okay. Now let's see here. Come back up here. All right. See that one mess up right there. But it's okay. You're not gonna. It's not gonna. It's still vapable, you know. So yeah, that was nice. Now I've got. Let's see, three and a half inches. Three and a half inch stick is what this ended up being. Just three and a half inches. But I can get five, six wraps on this now. If you've never heard of vape tool uh, on your Android phone, vape tool, and I'm going to show you what the app itself looks like, what to look for. Come on. That's what I first started using before ELR and everything. It's the one with the, uh, the blue with the white coal called vape tool. Download that off of Google Play. Okay. And it'll load up. Go to Coal Calculator. All right. And it'll pop this screen up. It says Single Coal. Now, you have to pay to get the uh, Pro version. And it has all your different wires. You can do everything up to a fuse clapped in for free. 
Whenever you pay, get the pro, you can do your aliens, your tiger staples, stagger claptons, all down. You see what I'm talking about? Well, we're doing an alien, so I'm going to click on the alien. There's three cores, so I'm going to put three in there. And I used Nichrome 80. See, it has a list of your wires. So I'm using N80. And then it'll have your gauge. I used 28 gauge. So I changed that to 28 gauge and hit next. Then it'll ask you your outer diameter. Now you got to change it from Canthal to Nichrome 80. So let me go down here and put Nichrome 80. And I used a 34 gauge outer. And then hit next. Then it comes up with all your things. You've got your three cores, 28 gauge, nichrome 80. And your outer wrap is a 34 gauge diameter, nichrome 80. Don't change none of these other numbers. Leave them alone. Now, your inner diameter. I'm wanting a, to wrap this on a three millimeter bit. I put my leg length at 3.0 millimeters that's my leg length so five wraps well actually the device i'm going to put this on is a c4 which looks kind of like the wasp nano so you've got five and a half wraps 5.5 .5. you see so it's got that half a wrap, so I put 5.5. .5. Now I'm going to hit Calculate. And it should ohm out at 0.31 ohm. And it'll tell you down here, I've got mine set to 3.7 volts. It's only pulling 11.6 amps. And at 3.7 volts, the power is going to be 42.8 watts. Now, you can vape this sucker up to 79 daggone watts if it, your fancy suits you, you know. But I usually stick around, it all depends on how I feel that day. 3.5 volts, 3.4 volts, you know. Uh, you know, I might want to vape it at 4.5 volts. You know, baby, what you know, you can, you just don't want. Here's what you're looking at your current. I mean, your, yeah, your current. You see where it says, uh, 14, 11.6 amps. Well, if it'll freaking focus, see where it says 11.6 amps? Think of your batteries. You've got a battery that's like, let's say, a 25 amp battery. Let's say 18650, that's a 25 amp battery. You don't want, you don't want, I just messed up something. You don't want your amps to go over 25. You know what I'm saying? Or you'll be, your battery can't handle it. So if you're below that 25 amp, you should be fine. I always keep it even lower than that. I keep my amps, you know, way low, you know. I don't ever go over yeah, too dang on high. Then you're just asking for trouble, you know. Hey, what does your car horsepower, how oh, that help too? <laughs> I have the slightest idea, man. I drive old minivan. Not a minivan. <laughs> I drive a, a, a Ford, man. A Ford Windstar. <laughs> hey, I, could, I couldn't beat it, man. It only had 52,000 daggone miles on it for a 1992 Ford Windstar. Damn. Yeah. And right now, it's only got 78,000 miles on it and drives like a champ. Air conditioning, power windows, power seats, you, you name it. Hey, you got right. that for years. All right. Now, I'm going to wrap this bad boy up, all right?
and I need five and a half wraps, okay? Now, to wrap it, you grab the end of the wire. You don't push an alien around because if you push it around, you're going to separate that outer wrap. It's going to want to come off the end here, okay? So if I don't have any other device, you know, I'm just holding it just like this because there's one of my legs. I grab the end right here and pull it around just like this, okay? Now I hold it right here, and I just wrap it like this. There's, that's two wraps. Let me come down a little bit. That's two wraps. There's three wraps. Four wraps. Five wraps. So I'm going to go over just a little one more. I'm going to put six wraps on this. Okay. Now, I'm gonna grab this. Let me grab my other pair of pliers because those nylons will slip on you. So you grab this real tight. Just like this. And you pull while you're holding it tight so your wire is pulling tight around your bit here. Okay, just like that. And then I'm gonna pull it around on the other side, grab that wire, sorry I'm shaking everybody. And then I'm gonna pull this side, you know, to make sure it's tight around the bit. There we go. All right. Now there's my wrap. There's my six on top, five on bottom. Now still, it looks a little janky and everything, but watch this. I want a spaced coil. So I take it, my thumbnail, and I space that bad boy just like that. Way out there. Go on the other side, pull them apart, okay, just like that. Now it looks all janky and just not straight or nothing, don't it? Look nasty, <laughs> huh? Watch this. All I do is just boom, push it right back together. Now look how even it's spaced all the way around. There's that one mess up where I messed up, you see. But look at the other side. You won't see it when it's on the... Uh, on it see that perfect and just push it back in a little more perfect see that perfect spaced alien I mean once you get the tension on your wrap correct on your alien your decor and you practice, you'll learn that tension. Once you get it right, just go real slow. Once you get it right, you've got it the rest of the time. The rest of it. All right, let's see here. I'm going to put it on this blue C4. Yeah, the blue one. I'm going to put it on this blue one. I like my C4s. Uh, uh, see, there's the C4. It's just like the wasp. See that? It's just like the wasp. But I like this one because you can squamp because you see how far the air has to travel. Your juice can't go through those holes so it won't leak as bad. You know what I'm saying? Just set this sucker and set it on this side. Just like this. And just put that sucker in on one side. Plop it in on the other side. And just like that. Make sure you got it centered. Just like that. Where's my screwdriver, man? I'm almost done. 
don't know. Oh, I need the uh, Allen keys on this one. Yeah, on C4. Yes. Who makes the C4? S. Modus. Oh, nice. And you can get them at 8 vape for like $25 damn dollars, man. They might have gone up a little bit now, but you can get them real daggone cheap. Nice. And you talk about damn good flavor. Yeah, I love the wasp. It's like one of the easiest things to build on in the world. <laughs> this one's easier to build than the wasp. Yeah, I guess because it's bigger, huh? Yeah, a whole lot. Well, it, it's just so much easier. Nice. See that? Now, I'm going to fix it so it'll look really, really nice here. Man, let me cut my leads off. That one. Always hold your leads because you damn sure don't want them flying all over the place and, and have your wife or yourself step on them. I tell you, it don't feel good at all, that gonna. All right. Then you take your leads on each side and push it up just like this on each side just to make sure it doesn't touch your cap. If it'll freaking focus. Oh well. All right, now let me fix it so it's all nice and pretty and everything. Just squeeze it back and forth, just like that. It's really nice. Now let's see here. Let me unscrew it. And they'll ask me new coil. All right, point three three is what it is now. Now, since it's a spaced coal, you don't have to heat, you don't heat it up red, glowing red either, man. Don't do it. Notice I've got it, you know. See, there's little grooves on this and where your bit sits right in them grooves. So it makes it exactly the right height automatically. Strum it. Make sure you get your wattage down to like real low. I'm talking like three volts. Or 3.2 volts, real low. You want to just heat it up until you see a little red in the center and just strum it. You don't want it really to change color. You know, color is just for show. That's all it is. You don't really want it to do the colors too bad. You just want to make sure there's no hot spots in it. You know, so strum it just like a guitar. You just don't want any hot spots in it. Oh, it's almost there. Now you see it started changing a little bit of color right in the center. See that? That's all you want it to be right there. You're good. Right there. Just leave it like that. Because you know it's glowing from the center out right now. I'm going to hit it one more time to make sure. Yep, right there. There she is. And then wick her up. And that's all it is, man. What's up, Graham? I didn't see you pop in. What's up, my brother? Do you find that different builds provide better flavor than others? Uh, sometimes. It, it, it's really the device. Let me uh, get yeah. out of the gallery view and speed it. There we go. Uh, it just depends on what device, what dripper, what RTA, what device. It's your device that makes all the difference. You could just use a twisted wire. Yeah. Just a regular twisted 26 gauge wire or 28 gauge or whatever. And it'll have some of the best damn flavor. And then you put a Clapton coil in it or an alien. It's like, damn, where'd the flavor go? <laughs> it's the device you're using. Okay. You know? I mean, I like 
aliens. I do. I love they're going aliens. I just love them. It would seem like they might hold more juice, you know, like because of the rap. They do. They do. And, uh, you know, I mean. Yeah, I guess well, airflow plays a big part. It does. Airflow and like, you know, like if you're using the Citadel, you know, there's hardly any room in there. So there's no, not that much air in there so you're condensing that air and that's where your flavor's coming from the less amount of room in this now when i wake this up you'll see what i'm talking about on this c4 uh whenever you wick it up it closes off a lot of that dead space that's inside this rda on each end so really the only space you got are where those nine holes on each side or hitting that coal and coming straight up. Okay. Oh, I'll wick it up. Little Angel was asking if you've ever used the Elder Dragon by Watofo RDA. Mm, no, I haven't used that one. Yeah, I haven't either. I think I've heard of it though. I watch a lot of the videos. I do too, uh, but I haven't found any devices lately that are different. They're pretty much putting out the same old thing. <laughs> I got a pretty crazy dripper in a mystery box at Christmas. Uh -huh. It was probably only, you could probably get it for five bucks, you know. It's called the Loop. Oh. And it, it reminds me of the Kennedy because uh, the airflow is incredible and it, it, there's no way for it to leak. It has this huge juice well and the airflow is attached to it, if that makes sense. Yeah. So any juice that's going to fall down into the juice well, it, it's really good. I was really surprised. Here, I'll, I'll grab it. Sounds interesting. It's sort of cool looking. I, I think Geek Vape made it. I, I forget. But yeah, look at the, the freaking build deck. See, the airflow is like a, a slat in the side. And, uh, and see, oh, yeah, there you go. That's how your coils sit in. But all of that is juice flow. So everything stays down there. Right. I'm assuming it, it, you, it'd be great for squonking. I don't know. The, the juice would never get to the coil for squonking. So yeah, I guess that wouldn't work. But yeah, pretty pretty impressive. <laughs> Is that a 22 millimeter? Uh, no, 24. Okay. See, I like this one. I'm going to show you now. Now you see how the wick basically closed up all the room on all the sides so really the only room you have now is right in the center because your cotton is closing off all the rest of the space it'll freaking focus see nice so really the only room you've got in there and your squawk comes right up underneath the bottom so your juice won't come out either side because the cotton's there and you got double o-rings on this so and it won't the the airflow is so thick the juice has a hard time flowing out the airflow so when you're squonking and you actually do see the uh juice coming out the end of the airflow that's when you let off your squonk and you just suck it in and it goes right straight back down in there and it won't leak that's why I, right. i've got three of these c4s <laughs> three <laughs> of them man and let's see i got hippie's best blueberry cheesecake in this one uh is daytime frank having a show tonight uh saturday night a uh, saturday night is mixing there, after dark yep, is there that's... anybody coming on at eight tonight Friday. Yeah. 
thought somebody was coming it's over. Devel no, Develop does it earlier than that. Um, I forget. All right, now I'm going to turn my watts up. Fresh. Fresh at nine. Okay. At nine. Well, that'd be eight our time, wouldn't it? Yep. So he's, yeah, starting right now. Shit. Oh. I, I guess if it's a different time zone. Let me see. Look at that. Squonk it a little bit. Get some good squonk action up in there. Angry little cold. So no. Twelve point five amps is what it's pulling from my battery. That's it. Owned out a point three two ohm. Uh, three point nine volts is forty nine watts. Yep. Nice. Well, did you come up with a recipe? Yeah. Um, I've been messing around with blueberry milkshakes for a long time. I thought that might go pretty good. You want to share it or, or not? <laughs> well, I haven't mixed it yet, but uh, yeah, I could I could show it real quick. Okay. Pretty you, sure it'll work. I'm you gonna see us make blueberry. It. Yeah, yeah. I think I used it a little higher than what ELR recommended, but it's gonna be battling malt. Uh, I used uh, Mullenberry milkshake base, uh, and to me, it's real strong on the malt side of things. Um, and. I had to use sweetener, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> but, uh, and then some liquid bar and ice cream at 4%. Sort of simple, but I'm hoping it really won't need much of a steep. I know a lot of the mullenberry needs at least a week, but uh, I think I could start testing it within 24 hours. I sort of like to do that, keep vaping, you know, as it steeps and see, okay, yeah, it changed today this way and so. Yeah, so no, hell yeah, man. Oh, yeah, so, no. well, I'm glad everybody popped in and and checked it out, man. Don't forget VSO flavors. I'm telling you, everybody, y'all won't go wrong. Uh, get the, the bundle and save you some money. Uh, use code HIPPY. Save yourself 17% off your whole order. Can't beat that. 17%. Shoot. Like the bundle, you can get four 15 mil bottles for $9.95. You know? And they got one shot. I mean, a bunch of different one shots. You got gizzard stews, uh, gizzard brew, vanilla custard. Uh, you got... The strawberry custard, they've got a bunch of them up there. You've got a bunch of really good standalone flavors that I'm telling you, you just can't go wrong with them. They're also good. They're natural extracted. Oh, it's so, so good. There's, I've got the blueberry uh, recipe. There's a lot of recipes out there using VSO flavorings. He ships overseas, man. Ships overseas, too. Uh, so definitely check out VSO Flavorings. You won't go wrong. Uh, if y'all haven't tried the blueberry, man, that is one of the best daggone blueberries on the market. So you might as well go ahead and get you a big-ass bottle of that blueberry right off the bat. Don't even second-guess it. Just get a big old bottle of blueberry. And uh, Aaron, thank you so much, my friend, for coming oh, on tonight. For me. Yeah, and where, where can they find you at? Um, yeah, uh, Homegrown Alchemy Wednesdays, uh, 
sometimes on Saturdays, mixers help in mixers. And in different chats and whatnot on Facebook. Um, do you have an ELR page? If you do, uh, go ahead and post it in the uh, chat, your ELR link. You can post it in the chat if you want to. So they, can, um, so they can find your ELR. I don't know how to do that, actually. <laughs> oh, you don't? Uh, no. Here, I'll go grab it real quick. Hold on. Let, let me go to, because I'm following you, too. Let me see okay. here. Come on. Let's see here. My page. Yeah, I started off with Vape Tool. I love that app. Do you remember when it disappeared for a little while, and then they brought it back? Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I remember that one. I was like, oh, and when they brought it back, all my recipes were still in there. I like it because you can use it offline. Oh my God. Well, I did have you on here. Well, what's your name again on ELR? The Vaping Lizard. I had, I was following you. And it's not popping up now for some reason. All right, let me search you real quick. I know everybody's wanting to go over uh, Fresh, yeah. the Fresh's show. But, see that. The P-A-P-I, Vaping, P-I-N? Uh, I-N-G, yeah. Oh, I-N-G. I-N-G. L I. C A R D. Vaping Lizard. ELR, of course, is taking its sweet time. There you are. Start following. Okay. And let's see here. All right. Right click. Copy and put your link out there. Paste and share. All right. Um, There's you. your link. Let me click on it and make sure it goes to your page. Yep. Recipes by the Vaping Lizard. There y'all go. And all my links are down below. Um, and hope y'all enjoyed tonight's show. More coming up, and maybe I can get uh, Aaron to come and join me some more, more often. What do you think? Yeah, I'll definitely let you know how the milkshake goes. Definitely, definitely let me know on that one. Y'all know, it, man. And in the meantime, everybody, y'all stay groovy. Stay groovy, everybody. Peace, love, and harmony. Y'all have a good one, man. Later, y'all.